What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Now Bungie's TwitchCon Live panel has just dropped some serious great new info definitely worth covering in terms of massive changes to how we get the Iron Banner loot and other event loot, new Iron Banner and Trials gear, new Faction Rally gear, an old event returning and much much more. But before we get into that juicy new info, uh, if you want to win some epic loot I have exclusive emblem and sparrow codes, gift cards and much much more to win some simply drop a like on this video leave a comment down below and join my discord server linked within the video description okay so on to the future of destiny 2 and it's looking much much brighter than it recently has been that is for sure with many great new changes coming i believe bungie are actually going in the right direction as for what we want and need this game to be and offer so let's start with the info the dawning is returning yes you remember that old destiny 1 event the kind of winter themed one that epic looking beautiful gear when it's making a return to destiny 2 this time though it will be a little different so we will get new armors weapons emote shaders as well as snowball fights and ice hockey interestingly the snowballs can be used to attack against your foe yes you can use snowballs to freeze some cobalt balls an ice hockey puck will no doubt be put in place within the tower also. So I can't wait for that and the armour looks amazing as you can see on screen now. So besides this event, what's changing? By starting with Iron Banner Season 2, loot can now be bought directly from Saladin using tokens and legendary shards. This is such, such great news for the future of Destiny and vendors. It seriously is. There will be new gear obtainable with Iron Banner Season 2, ornaments included. Ornaments are earned via in-game challenges, which are only obtainable during that season. So I believe the gear we see on screen now is the same Iron Banner gear we have, which we've just grinded for in the Season 1 event of Iron Banner, but with new ornaments applied, which will drop with Season 2. But don't quote me on that, because it isn't 100% factual at the moment. Trials of the Nine will also get its own set of ornaments. Ornaments will change with every season, that is for Iron Banner and Trials. Trials of the Nine and the Iron Banner weapons will be added in subsequent seasons with different perks, which is epic too. Faction Rallies, I believe we will see a new set of obtainable ornaments as well as new shaders and weapons. Bright Engrams will change with every season too, and some of the obtainable loot is looking incredible as you can see on screen now. Check out some of these ghost showers, exotic ships, exotic sparrows, emotes, and much more. Damn, that mic drop is incredible. So it all seems pretty epic right now. Well, all this is Season 2 info. Season 1 hasn't finished yet, and I do believe we will be getting another Faction Rally event and an Iron Banner event for Season 1. All this juicy new info and features I've just mentioned won't come into place until season 1 has finished. So it's all season 2 features. But even so, at least we have something to look forward to and a reason to grind for within the future. Also within season 2, a new PvP map will be added. And if your clan is a rank 6 by the end of season 1, you'll get this exclusive new red banner pole. Now there will be 3 more Bungie streams during November discussing more on these seasons and future DLC. So stay tuned for more info on them. And if any more info does drop guys, you guys know I will have you covered here on my channel. Channel. So subscribe if you're new around here and hit that like button if you did enjoy the video as it truly does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by people and hopefully I will see you on that next one.